Hello everybody, welcome to Review A Day, episode number 63 for Tuesday, October the 14th, 2008. Everybody. Welcome to Review a Day, the daily video blog where I review a movie seven days a week. My name is Leland Brunger and thank you very much for joining me. And the film I'm going to be reviewing today is The Dark Jeeling Limited. This movie is directed by Wes Anderson. It's written by Wes Anderson, Roman Coppola, and Jason Schwartzman. The film stars Owen Wilson, Jason Schwartzman, and Adrian Brody. Uh, the three stars play uh, Adrian, Adrian Brody, Owen Wilson, and Jason Schwartzman play three brothers who haven't seen each other for some time since the death of their father. They decide to reunite in India and take a cross-country trip, this kind of spiritual adventure where they will all become closer and rekindle the brotherly relationship they once had. Also, their mother is working in a convent. Um, she became a nun, um, so they're going to go and try to find her. Um, the progression of Wes Anderson has been pretty interesting in terms of all of his films. I feel like Bottle Rocket was his first um, chance to make a film, and he made a, kind of a standard comedy. It's interesting. Rushmore is fantastic. It's, it's getting into more of the Wes Anderson style we know. And then I feel like Royal Tenenbaums is the, the Wes Anderson style to a T, the, the, the style that he's been using for every film since. Um, uh, this film opens with a... Uh, a, a short film called Hotel Chevalier, which focuses on the Jason Schwartzman character, and Natalie Portman plays his like ex-girlfriend. And I think the the short film is really fantastic. It's really subtly done. Um, you don't you really have no idea who these characters are, but through the dialogue, it, it's so smartly written that you get kind of these little glimpses of who they are. And I like that kind of subtle filmmaking where it's not everything's posted out there for you. I really like that. I actually think the short film is better than the um, the film itself, which is kind of sad. Um, it goes without saying that the Darjeeling Limited itself, the film, is, is gorgeous to look at. Wes Anderson, uh, he always has such a unique color palette that seems to kind of go through all of his films. I really like that. I think he utilizes it really well. Um, lots of slow, classic slow motion stuff. Um, the camera will pan and it's just like a wide shot with a head in the middle. Very Wes Anderson. Um, I also really love all the performances in this film. I think this is one of Owen Wilson's better performances. I don't think it's better than his performance in the Royal Tenenbaums. The Royal Tenenbaums is my favorite Wes Anderson film. It's one of my all-time favorite films. Um, I also think Adrian Brody is really good in this movie. Um, I wish we saw Adrian Brody more. It's always weird because the guy is an Academy Award winner and we really don't get to see him in too many things. And I wish he did more funny films like like uh, The Darjeeling Limited. The Darjeeling Limited is a very funny movie. I think it's probably one of the funnier of Wes Anderson's films. Um, and I think one of the reasons is because Wes Anderson really has a handle on family dynamics. I think the relationship between the three brothers is really realistic. Um, I think the fights they get in are, are really great. They're, the bickering, it feels like they're brothers. I really like that about this film. Um, however, it's, it's hard for me to love this film. It's, it's hard for me to love it. I like it, but I, I don't think it's as good as um, Rushmore or The Royal Tenenbaums. I feel like... This film sits nicely alongside The Life Aquatic, which was another one of his films that I didn't quite like as much. Um, I can't help but feel like I've been there and done that with Wes Anderson. All of his films have themes of daddy issues and a, kind of estranged mothers and... I don't know. It, it's hard for me to really like this movie because it's, it's so recycled. He was recycling a lot of the same themes. Um, and I feel like the same is also going for his directing style. As distinctive and, un as, and unique as it is, I've seen it, you know? Um, it, it, it gets very repetitious when every single frame is someone's head in the middle or, you know, he pans and it's someone, you know, he tilts and it's someone's head in the middle. It's, it, it, it's, it's growing tiresome. It gets very repetitious. Um, I also feel like the characters in this film aren't as real as they have been in Rushmore or the Royal Tenenbaums. I feel like Darjeeling Limited and Life Aquatic, the characters are quirky for the sake of being quirky. Um, I feel like they were kind of real characters in those other ones, and they're just unique people. But here, like, the Jason Schwartzman character never wears shoes, and I'm like, well, of course someone is going to wear shoes when they go through India. And I know that this film really isn't going for realism, but it's hard not to be taken out when these characters act so strangely, and it's, I, I can't believe someone would act like that. Um, I mean, as, as much as I love Wes Anderson, I used to watch this movie, and I'm just like, I just wish he would move on and try something new, try something different. I know the next film he's working on 
or I think he's done working on, is the uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox based on the Roald Dahl book, and I believe it's stop motion animation, which I am incredibly excited for. I've always felt like the Royal Tenenbaums was kind of a cross between Roald Dahl and J.D. Salinger kind of style, so I'm really excited to see what he can do um, with a stop motion film, because I think it's going to be a really nice fit for him. Uh, I give the Darjeeling Limited a 3 out of 5. Um, it's good, but it doesn't feel as fresh, it doesn't feel as real as his past works like Rushmore or The Royal Tenenbaums. If you guys are liking my reviews, make sure and subscribe. If you have any recommendations on any films you'd like to see me review, leave them in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow.